Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we will discuss topic 12, which is about the heat conduction and thermal expansion. This topic are divided into two parts. The first part, we will discuss about the heat conduction, the rate of heat transfer, and graph of temperature versus length for heat conduction through insulated and non-insulated rod. Second part is about the thermal expansion. So, we will discuss about the coefficient of linear expansion, area expansion, and also volume expansion. What is heat conduction? Heat conduction is a process where heat is transferred through a solid from a region of high temperature to a lower temperature. So, what is the difference between the heat and temperature? Heat is the energy that is transferred from one body to another because of the difference in temperature, which is supposed to be from higher to lower temperature. And temperature is a fundamental quantity or basic quantity that measures the degree of hotness or coolness of a body. The unit for heat is joule and the unit for temperature is degree Celsius or Kelvin. To explain about the rate of heat transfer, let's consider a rod fully insulated with the length x and cross-section area A. One end of the rod is with the temperature T1 which is higher compared to the T2. By assuming that no heat is lost to the surrounding, the heat will flow through the cross-section area A from higher temperature to the lower temperature. And when the rod is in steady condition, the rate of heat flow is constant along the road. We can define the rate of heat transfer, which is dq per dt, equal to negative ka dt per dx. dq per dt is the rate of heat transfer. dt per dx, we call it temperature gradient or the temperature difference per net length. A is the cross-section area. K is thermal conductivity, which is defined as a rate of heat flows perpendicular through the unit cross-section area of a solid, per unit temperature gradient along the direction of the heat flow and given by that equation. And the table beside shows that for the different value of substance, for the different types of substance, the value for K is different, meaning that the K is depends on the types of material. The negative sign inside the equation shows that the heat flow in the direction of decreasing of the temperature. To study about the graph of temperature versus length, we will look at few situations. So the first situation is the heat conduction through the non-insulated rod. If the rod is not well insulated, the heat will lose to the surrounding along the road and the rate of heat transfer will decrease from higher temperature to the lower temperature and the temperature gradient also decrease because of that the graph of temperature versus length is not a straight line but it is a curve. Second situation is the heat conduction through insulated rod. If the rod is completely insulated, that, that is if it is covered with a good insulating material so that no heat is lost to the surrounding, then the rate of heat flow along the road is same at every point along the road. However, the temperature decreases along the road from the higher temperature to the lower temperature. Notice that the graph is a straight line graph, right? So this shows that the temperature decreases at a constant rate along the road. The gradient of this graph, which is known as the temperature gradient, represents the drop in temperature per unit distance along the road. The third situation is to show that if the material with the lower or smaller thermal conductivity, what happened to the graph of temperature versus length? So if you look at the material D with the lower thermal conductivity, the temperature gradient is higher. This is because of the th uh, thermal conductivity is inversely proportional to the temperature gradient. This situation happened if the both rod, which is material C and D, in a steady state, the cross-section area is equal and well insulated, meaning that no heat loss to the surrounding. 
Now we will learn the second part of this topic which is about the thermal expansion. Thermal ex expansion can be defined as change in dimension of a body accompanying a change in temperature. So there are three types of thermal expansion which is linear, area and volume expansion. So this expansion can be represented by the coefficient of linear expansion, coefficient of area expansion and also coefficient of volume expansion. So it's, it can be defined as for example, coefficient of linear expansion, a fractional increase in length of a solid per unit rise in temperature. For the coefficient of area expansion, it can be defined as the fractional increase in area of a solid per unit rise in temperature. And for the volume, it is defined as the fractional increase in volume of a solid per unit rise in temperature. So it is given by the equation of alpha, which is equal to delta L over L0 delta T. For the beta, delta A over A0 delta T. And for the gamma, delta V over V0 times width, delta T. And the important relationship between these three coefficients are is the coefficient of linear expansion, the coefficient of uh, area expansion is equal to 2 times the coefficient of linear expansion. And for the coefficient of volume expansion, it is equal to 3 times the coefficient of linear expansion. And the unit for uh, linear area and volume expansion is per degree Celsius or per Kelvin. Now take a look at few objective questions. First question, which of the following statement best represent the characteristic of heat as a form of energy? So if you look at the choice given, the best answer is heat is transferred from, from a point or region to another. Actually, the, the answer is, is not sharp. It is the answer is not complete, but the most suitable is C. Okay. For the second objective question, thermal conductivity K is depends on. So as I said, because if we look at the table just now, uh, referring to the table for the different substance or different material, the value for K is different, meaning that the thermal conductivity K is depends on the types of material. Question number three is quite direct, which is the definition of temperature. So as we know, the temperature is a measure of hotness or coolness of an object. For question number four, why do ceramic tiles in kitchen or bath bathroom feel cooler than a floor mat that is kept at the same temperature? So this happened because of the ceramic has a higher thermal conductivity compared to the uh, floor mat. For question number 5, the best answer for the coefficient of area expansion is it is double the coefficient of linear expansion. We refer to the relationship between them. That's it for the first part in this topic. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I wish you good luck and all the best.